scratch. Yeah, that's scratch it open. That's so what we used to uncap ours. Yeah. Yeah, when we had those at home. Yeah. So like, if there's just one little circle there that didn't come off with the knife, just kind of break it okay. up where it'll okay. come out. And yeah. Okay. And I usually do one side, and you flip it around and do the other side. Okay. If you'd rather, we can try to lower the tank down. And if that's not high enough, I can reverse it where I can get like yeah. two or three more yeah. inches on it. Not the first time we did it, it's not. I can see how the disadvantage to this deep is now. The, the, mm -hmm. shallow, the shorter one would be more advantageous to do. Make it easier to keep it level? Well, just make it easier to see the other end. And that board doesn't stay on there real good. So. It's fine, I'll just do it this way. Well, it probably feels more comfortable anyway, huh? Anything, whatever you need to do to make it comfortable for you, go for it. How do I do there? How is that so far, Michael? Uh, looks good to me. Okay. I so can't tell. Let me see if I can do one side. Um, I'm sure you can, and I can go on the other side and hold it. Now this is real sticky. So if you'll just hold it up there, I'll go around. Come in. I'll go around and hold it. And I think it's a piece of uh, wax to chew. Yeah. Yeah. There. Like, um, that one's kind of more recessed, isn't it, Mom? Mm hmm. I'm going to have to probably use that tool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we have the first three frames in the in the extractor. Everything's gonna be sticky before this is over. So the first three frames are in the extractor, and um, because these are full frames, they can only do three instead of six. So, and we're gonna do them a little bit differently than than uh, when they're smaller. Now she's starting it up, and like I said, we're not supposed to do it, but you can. Okay, Michael. Yeah, I kind of want to like make sure they kind of all spread out. That one is yeah, it's not fell forward. It'll eventually pull itself out. Okay. Now, okay. I think. I think so too. It's better. Yeah, only twenty easy. right now. Oh, there you go. They're all out now. They're all out mm -hmm. now. It's twenty. The gate's closed, right? What is yeah. Front. Yes, the great gate is we'll closed. Have to, after maybe this set, and then I put Tracy. Tracy. This, the outside is what you're spinning out. Okay. Centrifugal force spins it out. So pull that frame out, and if it looks like someone's going on the side towards you, we we'll just flip it around. Does it look like it to you? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want it all the way out because. Okay. You gotta. You're, you're trying to. 
trying to uh, okay see how this come out. We need to pop that back in. Yeah, it's going to be cool because as you switch them, you're going to realize how much lighter they get each time. Okay. So this is the second frame, the second turn, or the, they've turned it once, so it's the second side, and they've got it turned up to about 60. So the, and it's, it's not bolted down, so they're kind of having to hold it themselves. No. It was done spinning for the second time and she's turning it around. How much lighter is that? You feeling your difference? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like weighs nothing. This is almost like pure wax. Ooh, that looks cool. But it did bow a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. Will that go back? That's a wax uh, frames. These are wax frames. The difference between plastic and wax. Yeah, I've never extracted deep frames. So. Look at what this one did. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, 70 was probably a little high on that last one, huh? Yeah, we might stay at 60 and just let it spin for a little bit. As some people, when their motor goes out and they get a motor off of a uh, treadmill, electric treadmill, because it's a, also a DC motor that mm -hmm. you can adjust the speed on. Okay. okay. If they're to your liking, you can put them back in your Is box. Is there not a latch or something that helps that up? No. That would be something to design, a yeah. little latch. I think I had a bungee cord on it uh, one time I was using it. And I may have it over there, a little bitty bungee cord. Okay, we uh, extracted some honey last night, and uh, usually after we uh, get all the honey out of the frames, we usually bring them out and uh, let the bees clean them up. And so uh, I've had them out here for about 45 minutes, and it doesn't take long for the bees to find them. I'll give you a shot. They'll clean all the honey out of the frames and clean them up real good and then we can either put them back on the hives to refill or uh, store them away if we need to. But it's only uh, June 26th so I think we'll have plenty of time to put them back out and let them refill them. But it won't take them long, probably by tomorrow, tomorrow evening they'll be uh, cleaned up and ready to be reused.